हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ नीति गुप्ता आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू विद वेरियस स्क्रीन बेस्ड कंट्रोल्स दैट वी यूज इन द टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट एच सी आई सो एच सी आई इज ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट द ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस द टॉपिक डील्स विद the various interfaces through which a human being interacts with the computer so in order to interact as we people we are the people uh, we are the student or we are the faculty members or we are we as a human beings are interacting with the computer then there is a medium of interaction and that medium of interaction uh, need to be user friendly in case it is user friendly then user feel better and it always like to come on that particular screen otherwise if the user experience is not good then in that case the user will not turn up to your uh, interface your uh, your graphics your screen so in this case the main focus area is on how we can make the interface is user friendly or it is it should be more interactive then it gives convenience to the user uh, so that the user can easily use and utilizes those interfaces now these interfaces can be in the form of graphical user interface or it can be a web page a web design is having various interfaces so user need to connect user need to interact with the web pages as well as your stand alone systems in screens okay so in that case whenever the user interacts with any of the screen uh, so there is a interaction medium so one of those are the screen based control so the controls which are there on the screen so we will be discussing the various screen based controls in hci which is used so they are often simply called controls and sometimes called widgets so because these are on the screens and these are the controls through which we can operate and these are called also considered as a widgets now by definition they are graphic objects that represent the properties or operations of other objects so we can say these are the operable controls why we say it as a operable because it can be easily operatable these controls can be easily manipulated we can design those we can customize according to us so operable controls are those that permit the entry selection changing or editing of a particular value or cause a command to be performed so these operable controls are like buttons now buttons if we see on the screen there are multiple buttons we are having so we will see the different kind of buttons that we are having on the screens and thereafter the text entry read only selection combination entry selections all these things are there in the buttons so thereafter specialized controls are there apart from buttons so we will be discussing it in soon in the coming slides now so let's talk of the buttons so a square or rectangular shaped control with a label inside that indicates action to be accomplished so as we can see on the screen this is a window and uh, this is a box basically it is a warning window uh, or uh, this is a uh, asking you that do you want to save the changes and there are occasionally you must have interact with such kind of screens earlier also and uh, there are three buttons yes no and cancel so user need to select one of them so we can see these are the rectangular in shape and they are having a label on it the label is like yes no cancel so uh, the user can uh, click on any of the uh, button according to its choice so the label may consist of the text <coughs> or maybe the graphics or both so this can be a image this can be a graphic uh, over here it is a text so 
apart from this we are uh, we can say these are the command buttons or toolbars so command buttons so what uh, we will see the various use of command buttons and the labels labels on them so the command buttons are used to provide fast access to frequently used or critical commands so for windows these commands of or with the menu bars used to provide access to all necessary commands for windows without a menu bar use single word labels whenever possible so these are this is a guideline that generally you use you should the label should be small and single word just like over here it is yes no cancel single word and it's quite precise so used mixed case letters with the first letter of each would be capitalized okay so this is one of the guideline so do not use the number labels center the label with the button borders provide consistency in the button labeling across all the screens so in in case we are having the multiple screens or we are having a single screen and there are multiple buttons try to go for the consistency that the button design should be same in all the screens restrict the number of buttons so do not allow more than 6 uh, to 7 or buttons is quite sufficient otherwise it is uh, creating a lot of confusion for the user okay so provide as large as button as feasible and maintain consistent button heights and width so these are the some of the guidelines for uses and label apart from this let's talk of the location and layout of the command buttons so button exiting a dialog and usually closing the window should be positioned horizontally and centered across the lower part of window so as we can see over here this is a window and these are the exiting buttons so generally in the first screen also we have seen that these are at the lower center horizontally placed so this is one of the convenience and user is are in a habit of looking the in that position only because generally we use like this in windows also we have seen that all the exiting buttons are there on the uh, bottom horizontally placed in the center place okay so uh, this according to the convention if we are we are going then it is making the screens friendly and user are, is knowing that okay the existing exiting button is at the bottom only so this is exiting button so it is introducing the familiarity of the concept now for a button invokes a dialog or expands a dialog if any of the dialog box need to be expand so position it centered and aligned vertically along the right side of the window so over here these are the expanding buttons as we can see this arrow is in indicating that it is expanding further also so it is on the right vertical direction <coughs> do not provide alignment with other screen controls maintain alignment and spacing only within the button themselves position the buttons within the window before locate the other window controls so we can see there is a proper spacing between the buttons over here and it is placed one after the another in a vertical direction in the right hand side so these are the common conventions that we usually follow and user are very familiar with these uh, setup now if a button has a contingent relationship to another control position it adjust, adjacent to the related control so the similar uh, con uh, controls need to be placed uh, adjacent to each other the buttons found on more than one window should be consistently positioned so the buttons are should be placed consistently on more than one window so organization of the command button most frequent actions to the left or top we usually say those actions that require a frequent uh, uh, frequently used those buttons which are frequently used place it on the 
top left because user generally starts reading from the top left position only we usually start reading in the, on the paper also we always our eyes always goes first to the top left uh, corner in order to read the text so that's why it has been a convention that the frequent action should be at the top left keep related buttons grouped together if the related buttons are grouped together then in case i want to do the related task then it is it is always kept in my mind that these kind of tasks are there on the top right or top left or whatever wherever i have placed that so they are related to each other and grouped in a particular direction in a particular location only on the screen so the buttons containing excessively long labels may be wider so in case you need to go for the long labels as, as such the as convention says that do not go for the long labels but in case uh, it is required then uh, of course you can do it and the buttons should be wide so that the label can be properly visible so windows recommends an affirmative actions the left or above the default first okay and cancel next to each other help last so this is the common recommendations that a windows uh, usually give as I, as i have discussed also okay cancel next to each other always help is always at the last the default is the first uh, uh, step and uh, affirmative action when we are leaving any of the uh, window then it always asks do you want to quit you, do you want to save do you want to do so this is one of the uh considerations are there in the windows generally when we use go for the windows uh, operating operating system it uses thus so intent indicator of the command buttons no intent indicator is necessary when the button causes an action to be immediately performed so if there is a button as, as we have seen okay cancel it is it need to be immediately performed so no indicator is there it is just right over there it was just written okay and over here this is one of the example apply nothing is there after that apply so it is a uh, there is no intent indicator over there but if when a button leading to a cascading dialog inc so include the ellipsis so over here open dot 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 it means that after clicking this there is a one or more dialog box would be appear so it will ask for which file to open so it is a cascading dialog need to be um, after clicking this button another window will open so dot 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 is necessary similarly menu obviously the word is indicating menu means when we click this a menu will appear so the button leads to a menu include a triangle pointing in the direction of menu will appear after the label so over there a menu will appear options double uh, arrow double arrow we can see so when a button leads to expanding dialog include a double arrow so when and when a button has a contingent relationship to another control include a single arrow pointing at the control so this is a single arrow and if it is in relation to another control then there uh, it is indicating to another one so these are the intent indicator so different uh, intentions of uh, indicator which are showing the intentions of a, of the buttons <coughs> so thereafter we have the expansion and the defaults of the command button so gray buttons after expansion or when not applicable so we uh, when the button expands we usually play, uh, make it a gray shade and uh, when a window is first displayed provide a default action if practical so first window a uh, default uh, according to it uh, goes on according to the default criteria a uh, default should be the most likely action a confirmation is always there do you want to open do you want to do this do you want to close this do you want to quit so confirmation is always there likely action is there 
an application of the activity being performed do you want to uh, do you want to continue confirmation is there a positive action such as okay if a destructive action is performed such as deletion the default should be cancel so there should be a button for cancel also that uh, do you uh, want to delete okay yes or cancel so this is there generally so default action should be there indicate the default action by displaying the buttons with a bold or double border so this is one of the convention that is being usually said to indicate for the default action thereafter keyboard equivalents and accelerator for the command button the mnemonic should be the first letter of the button label so just like i am having a label new so n n is the mnemonic for that if duplication exists in the first character use another character in the label for example i am having new and one more label for starting with n so i can take the another letter also n e so that this is a mnemonic okay that is a short form of any of the button designate the mnemonic character by underlining it okay and uh, assign a keyboard accelerator to each button to facilitate the keyboard selection so we can always go for the shortcuts uh, for any of the button and generally it has been said use the first letter or in case it is required use the first and second letter as well so these uh, this a uh, keyboard equivalents and accelerators which ac accelerates our work so uh, some many people are ha in a habit of Uh, doing the work using the keyboard only because keyboards uh, according to them and most of the people if uh, you are a programmer then uh, generally the keyboard is actually giving you the uh, feel like uh, it is we are going fast instead of uh, touching the mouse again and again uh, so we have to place our hands switch our hands between mouse and keyboard many times so in that case if we know the shortcuts then there is no need to touch the mouse and the keyboard all, only do the work for you so it would be fast if uh, you are practicing actually <coughs> now scrolling and button activation so use buttons to move between multi pages forms not scroll bars label buttons next and previous so if we want to move between the multi pages then you can go for the buttons like next previous generally we have seen this kind of things on the tutorial and uh, on the tutorial lower side it is always indicating next and previous with a arrow so it is indicating that if you want to go next it is again a button and you can move to the next window your next screen and uh, if we there is a uh, previous then you you can go to the previous screen as well highlight the button in some visually distinctive manner when the pointing is resting on it and uh, the button is available for the selection so whenever you are placing the button somewhere highlight it i am pointing my mouse highlight it so that it is visible that okay the my, my pointer is over here and if i click it this will be selected so again a uh, Uh, thing that gives the friendliness to the user now the toolbar toolbar usage structure and size the toolbar is on the screen we know everyone uh, we have used the word ms word ms excel and we know we are aware of various tools on the toolbar which are there which helps to make our work easy so and the toolbar shortcuts are always available when we go for it so it provides an easy and fast access to most frequently used commands or options across multiple screens so provide buttons of equal size this is one of the consideration we are design consideration that go for the equal size buttons so it, it should not be there the sum is too large sum is too small go for the same size creating a meaningful and unique icon if i am showing a folder over here and this folder is opening then it is indicating that uh, i am indicating the open open file and if i am 
here the floppy disk is there. So it means that I am talking of the saving the document. So, this images are the self indicators and center the image within the button. If we are having a button, we are making the button, center, place the uh, image on the center and it should be having a meaningful label and be meaningful unique icon should be there. So, provide the smaller size as the default size with a user option to change it. Place the most frequently used actions to the left on or on the top. We have discussed this earlier also. Keep related buttons grouped together. Separately potentially destructive buttons from frequently chosen selections. So, if so destructive buttons like delete, cut, these are the destructive buttons which may lead to the loss of any of the data. So, these should be placed separately from the most frequently chosen buttons. Just say, for example, but, uh, buttons like bold, changing the font size, italic, this, this may be the frequently used buttons in many of the cases and in that case, so there must be some separation on the location of the buttons on the screen. So, that use, user should not click it by mistake. So, permit user to reconfigure the button organization according to the user interest or user convenience. There should be an option for reconfiguration. Position main features and functions bar horizontally across top of the window just below the menu bar. Position subtask and sub feature bars along the sides of the window. Permit the location of the bar to be changed by the user as we can see. We can change the position if you are not convenient with the bar at the lower side of my screen. I can place it somewhere else also. There should be a provision for that to make it the screen user friendly. Now, active items, button activation and customization of the toolbars. Make only currently available toolbar items available. Okay. Temporarily not available items by displaying grayed out. So, the items which are not applicable or not available need to be, should not be displayed and grayed out. Highlight the button in some visually distinctive manner when the pointing is resting on it. Now, call attention to the button in another visually distinctive manner when it was activated or pressed. Permit the toolbars to be turned off by the user. Allow the customization of toolbar. So, this, uh, these are the one of some of the convenience for the toolbars. Now, captions, text entry or the read only controls. So, for entry boxes, place the colon immediately following the caption. For single fields, caption can be located in front of upper left corner of the box. <clears throat> For multiple fields, position the caption upper left of, of the box. For read only boxes, if the data field is long or about the same length, then center the cap uh, caption above the displayed text box. So, for the read only boxes and the entry boxes should be separated by through this. If the data is alphanumeric, okay, so alphanumeric short or quite uh, or quite variable in length, left justify by the caption above the displayed. And if the data field is numeric and variable in length, right justify the caption above the displayed. So, the boxes may be the entry boxes where you type something, okay. So, there must be some separation that these boxes here you can make the changes, you can enter something and uh, if the boxes are only read only, then uh, it is only visible for reading, then there must be some differences so that the user can see the boxes and then thereafter it can easily judge whether it is a read only or the entry boxes. So, the, this is one of the convenience for the user. Now, to visualize 
to visually indicate that it is an enterable field present the box in a recessed manner. Present read only text boxes on the window background. Break up long text boxes through incorporation of some additional special characters just like slashed, dash, spaces or common delimiters. So, we can the break up the long text boxes. Call attention to text box data through a highlighting technique. Gray out temporarily unavailable text boxes. So, if the any of the text box is there which is not applicable or it is a uh, not applicable to the work right now or it is not available at the moment, then it should be hidden or it should be grayed out. This is one of the option, this is one of the guideline that we can follow. Now, the selection controls are there just like radio buttons, we are having check boxes, palettes are there, list boxes are there, list view controls, drop down, pop up list box, these are all the different selection controls through which we can select. So, radio buttons as we know a two part control consists of following small circles, diamond or rectangles. So, this is these are the radio buttons that we can see ok. So, when a choice is selected the option is highlighted. So, these uh, any of the button can be highlighted over here, we can highlight any of the button ok. So, radio buttons uh, we can give our input by highlighting it of uh, any of the choices among the available choices. So, the purpose is to set one item from a small set of options, 2 to 8 can be there, options may be there and we are selecting any of them. So, the radio buttons if there is a default selection designate it as the default and display its button filled in. So, when the but multiple selection includes choices display the button in the another unique manner such as gray shadow, left align the buttons and the choice descriptions these are some of the defaults and the structure based uh, guidelines which are there on the radio buttons. So, the arrange the selection in expected order or follow another pattern. The display full spelled out in mixed case letters capitalizing the first letter whenever possible ok. So, column orientation is the most appropriate one if we can go for otherwise uh, row orientation are also there in few of the cases. So, caption should be upper left justified with the border left justified over the choice description with the colon ok. So, horizontal orientation uh, position the caption to the left of the choice. So, keyboard equivalents assign a, a keyboard mnemonic as we have uh, discussed we can assign the mnemonic as well, highlight the selection choices whenever there is a selection highlight it, distinguish it visually from unselected choices. And if there is a default choice, display the selected choice as a set in a control. So, um, keyword equivalents and selections, this is the screen which is showing the multiple radio buttons over here, the color different colors, well, we can see the different patterns and uh, this is the vertical radio buttons and these are the horizontal radio buttons. So, Another one is the check boxes, the difference between radio and check boxes, we, in the check boxes we can select more than one option. When the option is selected a mark cross appears within the square boxes or the box is highlighted in some order manner. <coughs> so, each option act as a switch and can be either on and off. So, there can be multiple uh, correct on options in case of check boxes. <coughs> Palettes. So, a control consists of a series of graphical alternatives. The choices themselves are descriptive being composed of colors, patterns and images. It consumes less screen space than textual uh, equivalent. As we can see over here this is a tool palette ok. Over here this is a brush, pen is there. So, we have seen this kind of palette on the uh, paint 
generally we have seen on the paint uh, window. So, these kind of palettes are uh, available, all the buttons are grouped together in a single unit and that is called a palettes. Apart from this, we are having the list boxes as well. So, it is list boxes are sh showing the various list of uh, options and from them we can select one of them. This is uh, one of the screen based control. So, it should be clearly and meaningful describe the choices available and present in mixed case, left align into the columns, require no more than 40 page downs to search a list. A search list should not be too large, it should not be too large so that it is uh, quite difficult for the user to select the required option. Okay. So, there are uh, must be long enough to display 6 to 8 choices. Okay. Uh, thereafter, order in a logical and meaningful way to permit easy browsing. If a particular choice is not available in the current content, omit it, gray it or dim it, so that user should not be confused. A mixed case can be used, enclose the choices in a box with a solid border. Single selections uh, list box, this is a single selection uh, list box. We can see over here, this is a multi selection. We can move upwards as well as downwards in the list box over here. Then we have the drop down list boxes. Over here, a list is uh, there and uh, there is a button, drop down button. When we click it, a, a window appears, a drop down pop up will appear, and through that, we can select some of the uh, our options, the required option. And uh, thereafter, some combination entries are there, just like a spin box. Over here, it is a single line field followed by two small vertically arranged buttons. So, if they are pointing up and pointing down. Over here, we can write any of the input that uh, we require. So, this is a spin box. Similarly, uh, one of the uh, input device that we generally see on the screen are the frames. So, this kind of sliders we, we usually see. So, these sliders is also acting as an input device. It is a uh, screen based control and uh, we can slide this and through this we can select our option. So, a scale, it is a scale exhibiting the degrees of a quality or a continuum to make a setting when a continuous qualitative adjustment is acceptable. So, uh, generally this kind of things we usually go when we go for Amazon or any other uh, websites, then uh, it many times it selects, uh, it uh, asks for the price range. So, over there we can, uh, many of them uses the slider. So, we can select the uh, price, the minimum price and the maximum price through the sliders as well. Even the uh, PowerPoint presentation window ask for uh, the contrasting and the darkening of the color and in that case, it use a slider that the very dark, light, light, light and very light. So, we can use the sliders over there. So, many screens uses the sliders and uh, it make a setting when the continuous qualitative adjustment is acceptable, it is used. So, these are all the screen based controls that we have discussed and uh, we will continue in the next lecture. So, thank you for the day. Thank you.